Boosted by the global economic recovery, China's shipping market has accelerated the pace of development, according to research and markets. The container throughput for major Chinese ports reached 108 million TEU in the first three quarters of 2010 this year. It is expected that the container throughput of Chinese ports will reach 134 million TEU in 2010, up 9.8 percent year on year. Coastal ports achieved container throughput of 96.89 million TEU in the first three quarters of 2010, with Shanghai seized first place with throughput of 21.6 million TEU, followed by Shenzhen port and Qingdao. On similar lines, the container terminals in Rotterdam and Antwerp score in terms of productivity well above the regional average according to figures from Drury. The figures compared the number of containers handled with the number of available cranes, quay length and area of terminal. With volumes of 151,160 TEU per container crane, Rotterdam is above the North European average of 103,371 TEU. The Antwerp terminal score 133,902 TEU per crane. The relationship between cargo volume and terminal surface in Rotterdam is good. In 2008, 18,545 TEU per hectare was handled. The regional average is 17,020 TEU, while Antwerp handled 15,007 TEU per hectare. Syria will invest 800 million US dollars to develop ports and ships by 2015 to capitalize on traffic and transport from the reconstruction process in neighboring Iraq. The investment will go towards expanding the Latakia container terminal, new ships and new docks, according to Transport Minister Yarub Sulaiman Badr. The expansion will increase Latakia port capacity to 2.5 million TEU by 2015, with a total bulk of 20 million tons per year compared to 9.56 million tons in 2009. That's all the news making waves in the container sector as of now. We'll be back soon with some more news making waves in other sectors as well. See you then.